I'll show you what I'm using for this. At the moment I'm using my Shindawa brush cutter. Should be able to see the model mate there, just there. And on the end of it I've got the weed like a steel blade that deflects when you hit solid objects so it's safe to use around rocks. It's relatively safe, it does throw sparks, so be, be fire conscious. Drink your firewood before you using it. Um, and um, yeah, I've got the, the blade, the blade guard on it, um, the blade guard, so yeah, I'll do this. This is how thick I was able to cut with that weed lacquer steel blade. This is just a little 20, 21 inch, uh, 21 cubic centimeter brush cutter. Um, and I was able to cut stuff like that. This is pretty light. This is pretty soft wood, but still, um, you know, it's it's a bit more than what you'd expect from a little brush cutter like this.
Australian saw. Uh, I'll show you this one as well. It's just a little solo alco saw. It's a small saw. It's just a domestic grade saw. Um, I intentionally bought it as my first saw. Um, just so I didn't spend big money on something I wasn't sure I was going to use a lot. And if I end up wrecking it, um, I'd rather wreck something cheap than wreck something expensive. So I thought I'd try this out as a test saw. And it's done well by me so far. Um, the other video is me using the chainsaw of this saw as well. So just show, I'd show you that. Um, possibly show it as a review of it. Uh, before I turn the saw on, I'm just going to clear, clear some of the rubbish around, out around from there. there. As you can see there's some batteries there, there's a drum there, there's also a pallet under there. Um, so I'm pretty glad that I used the weed lacquer blade because it deflects around that sort of stuff. I used the solid blade. Um, a couple of things, there's three things that could have gone wrong. The blade could have shattered and sent shrapnel everywhere, that's the worst case scenario. Or it could have jolted the um, brush cutter out of my arms, which would possibly dislocate my, my shoulder. Um, I wasn't wearing the harness because I knew that blade was safe for it and it wasn't that long. Um, but it would have, yeah, dislocated my, dis um, located my shoulder and it would have put a lot of strain on the engine. It would have suddenly jerked the engine uh, and that can, that can wreck them. So, yeah. So I'll just clear around here so I'm reasonably safe to work. It's good footage, I want to do it now, so cool. Well, I'll get the saw going and I'll have a close look at the base of the tree. to me like the roots are still on the ground. Um, it does look old so it's, I don't know how old it is. It's possible the roots have rotted off by now but I'm still going to take it careful and limit out from the from the from the, the back uh, back. You always do that in case it flings back up on you, particularly if the roots are in the ground. But yeah I'll just be careful and watch it if it starts moving I'll jump out of the way. Anyway, I'll get this show on the road. Just make sure this is still filming actually. Yeah, it's still filming. Just look to you right in the eye there. Yeah, sorry about that, guys.
Watching me, form first aid if necessary. I mean, that was dangerous enough as it was. You saw that like a, that with that limb hung up in that tree that came down. Um, that's why you wear a hard hat, you wear a helmet with the, the visor, helmet, and earmuffs. Helmet protects your head. This filters most of the dust and this protects your, your hearing. Um, yeah, um, uh, I'll leave it there for the moment. I'll um, come back another day with my mates here to. To, to clean that up and see what you want to stump. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the work site next time. Bye.